All right, uh, before we go, the Wall Street Journal, uh, the guys working on the story were on uh, Busted Open, and as noted, not a lot to say other than they interviewed about 100 people, or they had 100 people on their call list, and uh, they were still working on it, they said. Okay, 100 people, but they didn't have quotes from anybody. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that they didn't do it, but it's, it's, it's interesting they did a story like that, and it's a tough story. I mean, obviously they got... Um, you know, they got tipped off by somebody about the uh, the original settlement hearing, and then you know they found out uh, from the investigation that you know about the other ones, and they they gave the impression that they are still working on the story, and you know there may be more stuff that comes out that they find out. Uh, I mean. Clearly, they, you know, I, I mean, they did a really good job as far as um, getting the right contacts and getting information, um, because there has certainly been no disputing by WWE anything in that story. Um, and if there was, you know, if they if there was anything wrong, they would be on it like crazy. So they did it. They did a, a, a great job. They. um yeah, there wasn't really a lot else as far as, you know, they talked about, you know, kind of being surprised, I think, that um, maybe the second story didn't hit as big. Um, maybe the fact that it didn't really, um, you know, like, I, I think they were surprised that, that it didn't become more, uh, you know, the first story was kind of a big story, kind of a mainstream story. It's like, you know, kind of like uh, if this happened to, let's say, an owner of an, an NFL team, um, it would be a disaster and everybody would be talking about it. And with wrestling, it's like they, they really uh, don't, you know, the reality of wrestling, which is, you know, one of the things that has allowed a lot of really uh, bad things in wrestling to continue unabated because it's wrestling and people just don't have, you know, you you people it, it's it's not an a sport you know it's not an a business you know no matter how big the business is and no matter how many people may watch it on television it's just seen by a lot of people as that that thing so um you know it's it's you know the the whole thing they didn't really know they didn't you know again like in a way i think they were surprised that vince is no selling this and to the level that he he was um they didn't seem really you know surprised about him going on tv or anything like that but just that it's it's been um you know the fact that he's still in, in creative is is uh after this stuff and they they see the other thing is is they seemed pretty sure about the coercion i mean they, they went very very high on the fact that even if like they said like if you're in a public publicly traded company and you're the ceo and you're having a relationship with somebody underneath the the pressure of of doing it to someone who, who has you know has the power and has the power to fire you creates something in the relationship that should not be allowed anyway in a publicly traded company um you know that that and that alone in this day and age, they said that you know most public traded companies will not allow this, um, and you know so that's uh, that that in and of itself. But they certainly with the seven point five million dollar settlement, you know that there was definitely a claim of coercion, a claim of being let go when the person decided not to do it any longer, and those are really bad. They're really bad things. I mean, some people are going like, like they, they even said, some people went to them. It's like, ah, oh, it's just, you know, just consensual sex. WWE did actually, I guess, in Big Divot, you know, who did talk to them at first. Um, you know, his thing was, is that, you know, it happened, but it was consensual. And like their argument was number one, you know, in the one case, the argument is that it was not consensual at all. Um, and in the other cases, whether it was or it wasn't, you know, it's the boss, and that stuff shouldn't be happening. And and there's no argument. That's that's right. Um, and yet, it's such a unique, it's such a unique thing. And you know, right now, until I mean, put it this way, 
until the investigation is over, um, Vince is going nowhere. I mean, as far as he's just not. When it's over, I think it depends on what they come up with. But I think that he, in his mind, is is going nowhere, and that's he's very difficult to unseat. And it becomes, you know, they were talking about like, you know, what about you know the sponsors and all all these people are aware. You know, I mean, nobody nobody has given the the um, the vote of confidence to Vince. You know, none of the TV stations, none of the sponsors. We said the other day. But you know, and no, and and if you're a sponsor, you're not going to bury him unless you're walking out of the deal, and you know, there, nobody has walked out on the deal. You know, if that were to happen, uh, that would be something. But you know, no, you know, none of the TV stations, none of the sponsors. There's been none of that. Uh, they're happy working with the company. So um, there you go. It's uh, it's an ongoing story, and um, it's interesting to listen to. You know, their their thoughts. You know, in you know, people from the outside. You know, if you if you tell the story to people in the outside world, as, as I have, um, they, you know, it, 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 it sounds so much worse to people on the outside than people in wrestling because uh, in wrestling, it's like, it's like, I mean, it's, you know, wink, wink, we all know it, everyone knows it, and it's it's like almost expected. And it's one of those things where it should not be that way. Um, they really should learn from this, um, but it's been in the culture there for decades, you know, and they've been publicly traded for decades, and it's still in the culture there. And they, you know, eventually, I mean, it, it you know, it, it, it needs to stop. And um, the fact that it was still going on, you know, early this year, late last year, you know, it's is a really bad thing. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.